Hey guys, it's Mallard with another STEM video, and as you can see, we're gonna do another grab bag exchange. This one is from Jason. He sent me one before. Sent me some awesome stamps, so super excited to see what he's got inside of this grab bag here. So before we open this grab bag, I do want to address some of the nasty comments that have been popping up underneath a few of my videos. So in my previous video, I explained there was actually three people that tried to steal the stamp a lot that I was giving to James Gill. They were claiming to be James Gill, and I knew for sure that they were not him. And those people have come back and have been leaving some nasty things down in the comment section. You guys have been great. You guys have seen that and discouraged it. You guys have been uplifting me and just encouraging me through all this. Um, I never thought on a stamp channel someone would, you know, attack me um, or this channel or us as a community, an awesome stamp community, but it's come to that. And I just want you guys to know that I'm going to leave, as long as the comments don't have profanity, aren't, you know, super bad, I'm just going to leave them up because you guys know me. I'm super transparent. There's someone that's upset with me. Um, and I think the best way to deal with it is not to hide it. I think the best way to deal with it is to confront it together. Um, so if you guys um, can continue just to be encouraging, being positive on my page, and eventually that person will definitely leave and he won't be a problem anymore. One more thing about the whole stamp giveaway. James Gill hasn't come forward. Um, he still hasn't come forward. I haven't been able to confirm who James Gill is. So I'm going to do a redraw. The redraw is probably going to be tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to redraw. And then the winner of that drawing will get the box of stamps that you saw me pack in the previous January stamp giveaway video. But James Gill, I'm going to set aside a nice big envelope of stamps. If you ever come forward, I don't want you to miss out on your prize. So I'm going to save uh, a few stamps for you, not 10,000 stamps like I'm going to be giving in the giveaway. But I'll save probably around 1,000, 2,000 for you just so you have something. Because maybe you're away or va on vacation, you weren't able to come back and um, comment and get the prize uh, currently, but I will save some for you. I think that's the fairest way to do it. You guys have been awesome. I still have the list over here, so we'll hopefully do the giveaway tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that's enough talking about all that stuff. So we're going to get into this grab bag right here. So this is from Jason Parr. Jason has been a follower of this channel for a long time. I received a grab bag from him already, like I've said earlier. So I'm too excited to get into this thing. I did open it already, so I could easily pull things out. Let's see here. Uh, let me look what's going on here. Right, let me see. Uh, there's something this. Oops. There's something snagging in this corner. There you go. I got it. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that corner got snagged. That's okay. All right. So it looks like we got some German stuff. All right. So I'm going to. There's a note right here. And I'm going to read that note. And I will show you guys a note and show you what um, it says if there's no personal information in there. So Jason sent me an awesome letter. Um, he said he sent me some Germany, some stamps from Japan, and some U.S. stamps. In return, he basically wants anything pre-75 British Commonwealth. Um, I'm going to do the best to do that. I'm going to go look for some spares I got. Um, we'll send them back to you. Um, he says he's actually going to send me another one soon. Um, this does say that he's waiting on his first grab bag that I sent back to him. And I do know that that reached him. He did comment underneath the first video that I did about the grab bag and say, I did receive the grab bag. Thank you so much. So with that out of the way, let's see what Jason sent in the grab bag. All right, well, first off, we've got a nice um, corner of a postcard or something, I guess, with, uh, of course, Hitler up there. I'm not sure what this is. I don't, oh, here's another one. I don't know German, so I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. 1943, during the war. Oh, awesome. Awesome cover. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys see this? I don't know if you can see. It's like a, you can see a plain watermark in there. The Bank of New South Wales, Sydney, Australia. And this, those are some German stamps up there too. Interesting. Looks like we got another one. Yep, another one. Looks like this was airmail. Probably during the war. That's awesome. Well, thank you for those, Jason. I'll, I'll make sure to send you some, some covers back. 
Got some awesome German stamps here. I'll be able to put these right into my German stock book. And now we got some cardboard, nice. Some more German stamps. I never get bored. Oh wow, he sent me a ton. Golly. I think this is another one. Yeah. Oh, wow. The buildings. Now, I don't have some of these, so I'm, I'm excited to grab these and stick these in my stock book. Man, Jason, you sent me a ton of stuff, dude. Some more of these horns. Spell one. And then these. I think there's some more German stamps. Um, so I'm going to go through these um, real quick, and I'll bring you all in if there's anything interesting. Just went through all the stamps that were in that glassy envelope. So there were some high used USA dollar amounts, like $1, $2 over here. There's actually a little block of five down here, um, which is pretty cool. Then he's got Germany. The I just basically organized Germany here, horns here, Germany buildings there. And then here's my Japan um, little lot. But check this out. 50 sen. I don't think I have this. So I'm super pumped to get this into my um, stock book. Um, I don't think I have the 50 sen. So I'll check that out. Make sure I don't have it. Man, Jason, you have you have made it really hard um, in a good way. This grab bag I got to send back has got to be awesome. Um, so I'm going to go start working on that. And I will bring you all back in when I will show you what I will be sending back to Jason. All right, guys, we're back. Um, these stamps down here are the stamps um, and letters I'll be sending back to Jason. These stamps up here, just so you know, those are Jason stamps he sent me. I need to organize them, and I just thought I'd leave them there and not worry about them for right now. So, um, yeah, just to start off, a nice first day cover from 1934. Nothing too special, but uh, first day covers are super collectible. I do have a ton of these. If you're interested in these and you want me to send you some in the, a grab bag exchange, let me know. I can definitely do that. Next... We have a very old postcard. As you can see, there's even a little note on the back. What's the date on this actually? 1902 maybe? So it's just super old. Some personal little little letter there. And then this, let's see if I can pick it up. Nice old envelope with a banknote on it. 1888 I believe is the date there. I can't tell for sure, but I believe that's what it is. Nothing inside, uh, but you did send me two awesome, um, you know, wartime uh, covers, so I want to send you back a few U.S. covers that hopefully you don't have, you know. So, all right, so with these, he said specifically he wanted pretty much anything, um, let's see here, pretty much anything pre-1965 British Commonwealth. So I went into my stock books. I went into... Um, my bins, and I try to pull out doubles, all right, things that um, I don't need, and hopefully Jason can enjoy them more than I can, um, but just to start off, let me get a little pile, he sent me some high U.S. dollar amount stamps, and so I want to send him back this one, uh, moon landing, and we'll get right into it, so these aren't in order, um, so there might be more Trinidad stamps in here, and that they might be at the bottom, so I don't have like these in order of the country per se I just got them out and put them all in a pile so starting off nice stamp from Trinidad oh yeah nice old Jamaican stamp right here nice old one yes I'm filming a little later in the day so the lighting isn't as good I apologize Straits and settlements yeah so Jason these are all coming to you big guy so hope you enjoy them and like I said, there's no specific order to these. I just put them in a pile. Sierra Leone. Nice Guiana stamp. Guiana. British Guiana. South Africa. Another Guiana stamp, and you can actually see the, the uh, year it was canceled right there, 1911. Where's that one right there? I'll put it right beside it. A nice mint. We get it. St. Christopher. Really clean 
looking stamp there. Here is a, another stamp from Trinidad. I think I had a few Trinidad stamps in here, so just get ready for those. Granada. Yeah, I just try to give you a big selection, Jason. I didn't want to just stay with one country and maybe give you a set or something. Uh, it sounds like you wanted, in your letter, you wanted a lot of different countries, so I definitely tried to just spread the love as best I could. Granada again. Let's see. Nice Bermuda stamp. Bermuda, Bermuda's got some pretty stamps, for sure. There's another Bermuda stamp right down here. And Jason, I'm gonna let you know, some of these do have hinges on them. I haven't taken the hinges off or worried about that. Like this one I believe has a pretty poor back on it. Um, but most of these stamps are in good condition. Um, if there's something wrong, just hit me up, Jason. And we can work it out for sure. Another British Guiana. Uganda. I think this is a little set of Ugandan stamps, actually, yeah. Let's see here. Another Uganda. Kenya and Uganda. Another Fiji. So here's another Fiji stamp. So, that, I mean, as you can see, just a huge assortment of stamps from just different commonwealths. St. Vincent. I believe this is a Nigeria stamp. Yes, it is. Another Nigeria stamp. Looks like a purple cancellation there. I know you said you wanted Perfins. I'm not well versed in Perfins or anything like that. So if some of these have Perfins, great. I don't think any of them do. I don't collect Perfins specifically. So I did not include any like Perfins specific stamps in this just because I'm not well versed in that area. Another Trinidad stamp. Let's see if I can get a focus here. Come on. Here's another Trinidad stamp I thought looked really interesting. It's a weird color. Let me see if it'll focus. There you go. Like a darker orange. And here's one more Trinidad stamp. All right. I did include these two stamps from Chile in here just for fun. I thought they were pretty. Thought you might like them. All right, guys, and that's the grab bag. Um, so I'll be sending him back all these stamps. He sent me all those awesome stamps up there. I didn't want to just send him a big lot of random U.S. stamps or a big lot of random, you know, um, Commonwealth. I wanted to specifically get Commonwealth and send them to him because that's what he asked for. So um, I think some of these do have some value, so I hope you enjoy that. But I know you you enjoy them more as a collector than um, their monetary value. So. But yeah, guys, it's another video done. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching.